happy to have Jeremy uh, Siegel with us, the professor from the Wharton School. Uh, professor, it's great to have you on a day like this. And I guess my first question would be, did the bear market rally just die today? Well, <laughs> as, as one of your guests said, I think we're closer to the lows than the highs. And, you know, it's interesting. It, it, the S&P is not yet in a bear market. I'm not saying it won't get there, but it's like certainly NASDAQ is in a bear market. But listen to what Josh quoted, percentage declines far greater than we've had today. Uh, I think largely earnings will be met, and that means stocks are selling. S&P is selling at 17 times earnings. S&P X Tech is selling at 13 to 14 times earnings. You rarely see it that low. I mean, you saw it at 10 times earnings when the interest rates were 15 percent. Yes, I, I actually think there. The market is already discounting a recession in 2023. It's being priced Jeremy, to that Jeremy. level today. I'm, I'm, yes. so, I'm so sorry. The average, the average recessionary correction since World War II, and I'm using your data, is negative 31 percent. How can you seriously right. say that we're already pricing in a recession? Well, I think we're pricing in a mild recession. Um, uh, don't forget, that included some whopper recessions that we had. Uh, uh, the financial crisis, uh, and, and of course, when we came off of the tech bubble where the market was far more overvalued than we, we had today. Um, I, you know, I'm not saying how severe the recession actually will be. And, and also, Josh, we're in a much lower interest rate world than we were back then. I mean, uh, again, there is no con even with the Fed. All right, so the Fed raises a three, three and a half. Is that real competition? For a real asset, which is stocks, where uh, you know the dividend yield on dividend yield is stocks are three or four percent in history shows that that absolutely moves with inflation. So you're getting a real return. I mean, that's so much different than the world where you could get real rates of four and five percent um, back. Uh, I, I in, think that's in a great point. I think that's a great point. But I think I think that's a great point. But uh, Jeremy, when you see when you see the types of high dividend yielding sectors, X energy. So let's just take REITs, for example. It's great to have, have a 4% nominal dividend yield, even in a, uh, in a, if inflation is 8%, which I don't think anyone thinks is a long term. But OK, 4%. But if you could wipe out five years worth of dividends in one bad week of trading via capital depreciation in the value of the asset, um, the second time you don't go back in. You, and, and, you, and you're certainly not looking at the nominal dividend rate in volatility. We're, we're a, th right. a 30 VIX. So 3 right. and 4% well, yields are, are not great. 